Um, in this topic, we will talk about finding slope given two points on a line. And so most of the problems will look exactly like this. Find the slope of the line passing through the points, and they'll give you two sets of points. The slope formula, or the formula that we're going to use to calculate the slope, is this formula here. So once you know this slope formula, you should be able to use it to find the slope of between two points. Okay. Um, the best thing I can think of is if you label each point, um, and then that way you know where the coordinates are coming from. Okay. Now I'm going to use different colored pins to kind of distinguish between everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this first coordinate its x value, but of the first point. Whereas this is the y coordinate of the first point. This is an x coordinate, but of the second point. And this is a y coordinate of the second point. Okay. And so now that I've labeled everything, so the subscript is which point are you referring to? The first point or the second point? That's what this little subscript means. Okay. And then the letter represents the place that that number is in. So this number is in the first spot, which is an X coordinate. This number is in the second spot, which is a Y coordinate. Similarly, first spot, X coordinate, second spot, Y coordinate. But these have ones because this, these are coming from the first point. And these have twos because they're coming from the second point. Once you have that all labeled, you should be able to calculate your slope just by recreating this fraction here without the letters, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace each of those four letters or each of those four um, terms with the values that they represent. So for instance, Y2 is the second Y coordinate, which is negative nine. Y1 is this, the second coordinate of the first point, which is negative two. Then X2, which is the three. And then X1, which is a negative five. And you can type all of this in your calculator. However, I'm going to use my sign. So a negative and a negative will turn into a plus. Again, a negative and a negative will turn into a plus. So I get negative 7 over 8, which does not reduce. So this is the slope between these two points. Okay. Now, there are two things that I do need to mention. If for some reason you end up with the slope and then you get a 0, over some number, this does equal zero in the calculator. It doesn't matter what number you're using. I could use five, I could use negative 100. It doesn't matter what number that's in the denominator. It will always calculate to equal zero, okay? However, if you're working on your slope and you get a number on the numerator and a zero in the denominator, well, it doesn't matter what number you put in the numerator. It tells you that the calculator cannot divide by zero, okay? Even if I went up here and put negative 100, it still will not be able to divide by zero. Because of that, this is what is called an undefined value, okay? So sometimes when you're calculating slope, you may get that the slope is undefined, and that's happening when you get the zero in the denominator, okay? Or you may calculate that your slope is zero. That's only going to happen when you get zero in the numerator.